heuristics. At Strummer, we build what's called a language heuristics engine, and it can be used for a lot of different things. Building a context engine is one of those things, but at the core is this language heuristics engine. And heuristics, most simply put, is probably described as the process by which Sherlock Holmes used to solve mysteries. I'm going to probably screw up what the quote is, but basically Sherlock Holmes said, if you eliminate everything that is impossible, whatever is left, no matter how improbable, must be the answer. And that's basically what our language heuristics engine does. We go through and say, what isn't this thing? And what's left is what it is. So, for example, to determine that something is a review, we go through and say, let's check and see if this thing is a review. Does it have a bunch of things? And if not, it can't be one of those things. Basically, we say, if it's a review, it should have a bunch of opinions, because that's what a review is, is a bunch of opinions. It should have some statements of fact that say, this thing has these features. Those are the types of things that you expect in a review. You know, if I just tell you, I don't like the iPhone 5 because I don't like the iPhone 5, that's not really a review. That's just an op-ed or an opinion. A review would say, I don't like the iPhone 5 because it doesn't come in red. And that would be based in fact. It should also say, the iPhone 5 has a retina display, something tangible, something meaty. It should have some statistics, like the iPhone 5 has a 20 gigabit megapixel camera. Whatever it has, it doesn't really matter for the purpose of example. It just needs to say, here is a thing, it's a statistic about this camera. It should also have a conclusion that basically just says, I wouldn't buy an iPhone 5, I would buy an iPhone 5, I would recommend an iPhone 5 to so-and-so, and from that you can determine it is a review. But you can exclude it if it doesn't meet any of the qualifications. It doesn't have a this, it doesn't have a that. It has something that clearly makes it not a review, like, um, I don't know, a whole bunch of future statements. It will be this. The iPhone 5 will be totally awesome. That's not a review. That's a prediction. So it's not in the past, which is kind of what review means. And so a language heuristics engine uses heuristics to eliminate what something can't be in order to determine what it is. And as long as it meets all of the disqualifiers, it is that thing, or at least we hope so. Hopefully we've got enough things to disqualify it from being something that we can say what it is. Now, in order for a heuristics engine to work, you've got to have enough qualifiers that you can actually definitively say, this is what it is that I want. So, for example, let's say we wanted to say, is this a human? We'd say, does it have two arms? Yep. Does it have two legs? Yep. Okay, well, that doesn't mean that just because it has two arms and two legs that it is a human. We also know, is it living? Does it have a brain? Does it have two eyes? A whole bunch of things. And so heuristics goes a lot faster by saying, what isn't this thing? So let's say you're doing a search for singers for your nephew's birthday party. Okay, let's disqualify everything that doesn't work. Okay, it should sing. Ta-da! We've disqualified a lot of things. Probably it needs to be local, so it doesn't matter whether or not it is a singer, but it's 4,000 miles away, that's probably not realistic. Does it have to play at birthday parties as opposed to plays at concerts? Britney Spears is probably not going to play your nephew's birthday party, so we eliminate those things. And you're down to things Everything that was not a singer is disqualified. Everything that's not local is disqualified. Everything that doesn't do birthday parties is not local. So we've eliminated clowns. We've eliminated gorillas with balloons. We've eliminated mannequins. We've eliminated a lot of things. And so whatever's left ought to be singers who would perform at your birthday party. We could get this wrong. Robots, you know. I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese's and Showbiz Pizza, 
animatronics could possibly perform at your nephew's birthday, and we would have gotten that wrong because we didn't specify not animatronic. But for the most part, by eliminating things, we will have said, these are the things that meet your qualifications because it doesn't get excluded by any of those considerations. So that's how a language heuristics engine works and how heuristics applies to context.